What's up YouTube? It's a rainy day here in Philadelphia. You can actually hear the raindrops trickling on the top of my car. I got up really early this morning and I wanted to do something because I like to stay productive throughout my day, no matter what the weather is. So I decided my car is the dirtiest that it's been since I've owned it and I need to take it out back to get a good vacuum. And I want to show you the proper way to vacuum your car so you can keep it clean. So let's get into it. Keeping your car clean or car hygiene is just as important as keeping yourself clean. Well, I don't want to say just as important, but I think it's very important because we spend a lot of time in our vehicles and we have a lot of people in, in and out of our vehicles. So a lot of germs and dirt can accumulate inside these vehicles, especially if you like drive a lot and you're snacking inside of your vehicles, you got crumbs and the crevices and stuff like that. You want to keep your car clean so that you can help keep bacteria away from getting inside of you, causing you to get sick. Before you just start cleaning your car, a few things that you're gonna need is you're gonna need, the most important element actually is the vacuum cleaner that you're gonna use. You're gonna wanna head down to the Home Depot or the Lowe's or some type of hardware store in your vicinity and pick yourself up a wet, dry vac. Now after you pick up that wet dry vac, you're going to want to see what attachments they have for that wet dry vac's hose. They, you should look for something like a car cleaner accessory kit to go with that wet dry vac. If you don't um, can't find one, then I'll put a link in the description of this video and you can click my link to order your wet dry vac and your wet dry vac accessory kit. Other miscellaneous things you might need is uh, smell good items like some Febreze or you can just buy some generic Febreze. I got both of them. And um, if you're doing the outside of your car also, um, I recommend taking your car to a car wash but there's nothing like doing it yourself but time is money and I'd rather just take it to the car wash because you can get your car washed for a fairly decent price in most areas. But what I like to do myself is put the tire shine on my tire. So you might want to pick yourself up some tire shine so you can apply that yourself because it always looks better and you always apply a more generous amount than the car wash. And uh, maybe a cloth to wipe off the inside of your rims. Another thing that you're going to need that most people forget about is a heavy duty extension cord. You're going to need a heavy duty extension cord to plug that wet dry vac into and wrap it all around your car. You're going to be able to get all around your car so that you can access each of the different um, doors so that you're not leaning over inside of your car, putting more dirt inside of your car while you're cleaning the car and having to put the wet dry vac actually inside of the car. You can stay outside of the car. You can go to any side of the car you want if you have a nice heavy duty extension cord. So now that we've covered the basics, let's start cleaning our car. You're going to want to get rid of any miscellaneous items you might have laying around your car, like on the carpet, in the seats, in the middle console, in the back seat, even in the trunk, because we're going to go in the trunk and clean out and vacuum our car's trunk also, because that's part of keeping your car clean, having a clean trunk. And most people just vacuum inside of their car. I like to keep my trunk clean also. So make sure you go around, get a little plastic bag and gather all of the little components, all the little um, things that you can grab that are bigger than the size of crumbs that you can put inside that plastic bag for you to throw away and grab little miscellaneous items like, you know, your girlfriend's lip gloss or any little receipts that you might have laying around the car. Pick that stuff up, throw it away, or put it somewhere for safekeeping if you still want those items items that you use that are inside of your car all the time make sure you place those inside of your armrest or inside of your glove compartment for safekeeping while we're vacuuming now place that wet dry vac at the first door that you want to start vacuuming at all right then you're going to push that seat back as far as it can go so you can access the part that not the part of the carpet where not only your feet goes but you can also access the tracks underneath the seat all right you're going to do this on both sides 
vacuum up that car on both sides. After you've done the vacuuming with the Y part of the hose attachment, or even if you don't have a hose attachment on the hose, you've picked up most of the big miscellaneous crumbs or whatever debris that's on your carpet and on your seats and in your middle console, you're gonna wanna use some of those attachments now to get in those fine areas that you can't access with that big end of the hose or that big attachment that goes onto the hose. You're gonna wanna break out your brushes that came in your car uh, vacuum kit or those little, little, little tiny crevice vacuum attachments so you can access the little points that you can't access with the big hose. You're gonna wanna repeat that vacuuming for both sides of the driver's side and the passenger side front of your car. If you have a four-door car, then after you're done doing both side, the passenger and the driver's sides of the front, you're gonna wanna put that seat all the way up. Same way you would ask somebody if they have leg room and you put your seat up, you pull your seat up and put the passenger seat up so the people in the back have leg room. Put those seats all the way up, slide them up so that you can access, once again, not only where the passengers in the back seat's feet would go, but also underneath the back side of the sliding racks so that you can get all the debris from under the seats and the carpet area on the seats. And don't forget to vacuum out those little vent areas if you have, if your car has that feature, all along the sides of the doors, all that stuff, guys. Now, one thing that I did leave out, after you're done vacuuming, you can take some wet, dry napkins, some baby wipes or something like that, or just a regular uh, paper towel with some car care friendly cleaning uh, spray and wipe off the interior of your car that um not not the seats but like the door panels and things like that for any like marks or anything like that or pick up any little small dust particles that might be on the dashboard or uh, on the along sides of your cars and um yeah you just want to clean up all that stuff the last step the very last step is for you to spray in some smell good in your car. This is where your Febreze comes in or your uh, generic Febreze in my case. I have both, like I said. So spraying some smell good. You know, you might wanna get some of those trees if you guys still do that. Hang the trees around your rear view mirror in the front. I don't really do that anymore. But um, if I do get those trees, normally I just keep them in my glove compartment or I just sit them on my door panel where the cups go, but I don't like really hang those stuff around my um, rear view mirror. That's kind of old school if you ask me, but hey, I'm just here to show you how to clean your car. So guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something. Um, please keep your cars clean. People love getting into a clean car, especially if you like drive for Uber or drive for Lyft or something like that, this will be an excellent tutorial to send to those people so they can keep their cars clean because everybody likes getting into a clean car. Whether you're just going for a ride with your friends, whether you're getting in your own car for personal reasons, everybody likes getting into a clean car. Who doesn't like new car smell, clean car smell, and getting into a clean car that looks like it's brand new? So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up like comment and subscribe to this channel for more how to's it's your boy a dub and i'm out peace